changes. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining me. I want to put out a quick video because this is a hot topic inside of any Facebook group. And it, anytime it gets posted over probably the last four or five years of me having a Facebook group, people talking about using recycled boxes and bad boxes to ship their items. I'm talking about diaper boxes, pizza boxes, cereal boxes, just reused boxes in general. So let me preface this and uh, disclaimer before we start. I'm all for recycling and doing what we can to uh, you know, reuse materials and, and whatnot. And that's great, you know, recycle at home, bottles, glass, you know, plastic, whatever, uh, soda bottles, uh, you know, the cardboard out of uh, you know, 12 pack can Coke stuff, whatever, great. When you are running a business, when you're running something where you have to ship boxes, all of the USPS boxes are free and you, if you're gonna use the USPS service, like you're doing priority flat rate or priority padded flat, then of course you wanna use those materials, you do what's best for your business. A lot of that gets recycled anyways. Now, if you're gonna do something that requires you to use your own first class packaging or your own brown box, say priority by weight or UPS ground or FedEx or something like that, then you have basically two options and reusing a pizza box is not option A. So let me ask this, I'll, I'll even you know help people with this. When was the last time you ordered from Best Buy or Walmart or Target or Amazon Direct, not Amazon third party, but Amazon Direct, and um, you received a cereal box or pizza box with your item in it, right? Never, never, it, it doesn't happen. Why? Because they're serious sellers. They're serious businesses. If you're a hobby seller or part-time or you don't care about building a brand or a business or your reputation, then fine, do whatever makes you feel good about it, right? But if you're somebody who wants your business to be full-time and serious and be taken seriously, please get proper shipping materials. Please spend the money so it looks professional and it is professional. It's not just about the look. The look is helpful. Branding. I mean, think about Amazon. They have their name on every box, right? Walmart. Everybody has their name. And I know they're big multi-million, billion-dollar companies where we aren't that. But you don't have to be a billion-dollar company to have proper shipping supplies. If you are dumpster diving supplies out back of Alta or Walmart... You don't know what was in that box previously. You don't know if there was food. You don't know if there was perfume. You don't know what is going on. Buy boxes. And to help you guys out, there are shipping supply companies, tons of them, that deal in recycled materials, right? The Boxery, I'm pretty confident the Boxery, which most of you know, uh, deals in a lot of recycled materials. So you're helping out there as well. <clears throat> you know, this is a box that I received, um, I believe labels, I believe thermal labels came in these. You see how this, this is just a FedEx box, right? It's FedEx, it's all the way around. Um, so it's a good looking box. It's in good shape. Um, I'm sure there's no information on the thing, but it's in good shape, right? This is a box I can reuse because it's plain, it's professional. Yeah, it's FedEx, but it's still just a normal shipping box, an everyday shipping box. So if I had to put something in this, pat it up, tape it up, this is great to recycle, but you don't wanna use a food box, a cereal box or a diaper box. I don't have any of those laying around to show you, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It's just a, it's just common sense. It's business. It's professional. You want to feel professional. You want to look professional and you want to do everything you can to be professional. Even these, I'll use this because it's, it's easy and I'll probably have something that'll fit in this. I'll probably sell something this size because most stuff I sell is small, but, um, generally I like to use brand new boxes and I know people are going to say, oh, you're adding to trash or whatever. Again, suppliers that have recycled material. If you're that concerned about it, which again, I'm all for the recycling all, you can buy from suppliers. Recycle the professional stuff and buy your other stuff from the companies that do recycled goods. It's as simple as that. So just wanted to put that out there. A lot of you are gonna disagree with me. I understand completely, but look, if you're a hobby seller and you're part-time, do what you want, it's fine, like whatever. But if you're trying to be professional, you're trying to build a brand or you're trying to take it seriously or be full-time, you want returning customers. I mean, I hear everybody talk about that, right? Even though it hardly happens on platforms, but you want those returning customers, give them something to remember, a nice presentation. I see the same people who talk about this dumpster diving are the same people on Poshmark or wherever, Macari or what, what have you that are like, oh, I need to put some tissue paper inside of the packaging with a little pack of Skittles to make it all look nice in presentation, but you're using a box you dumpster dived out of the back of Walmart. What am I missing here, guys? You don't need tissue paper. You don't need little Chotskis and candy and food. Leave all that out. Pack your item, bubble wrap it, protect it, put it in a professional box, label it, and send it off. That's how it's done. If you disagree with me, great. We'll agree to disagree, but that's business 101, and I hope you guys take this to heart. To heart? 
and use your brain and do things the way that you should be doing it if you really want those return customers and you really want to build your business and brand. And everybody in the comments is also going to say, the way that I do things may not be the way that you do things. You're right, but there's a reason why billion dollar companies do things the way I'm telling you to do it and other companies don't. So take it for what it's worth, guys. Appreciate you watching as always. Hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you real soon.